My initial impression of this case is that it is a typical presentation uh, for gastric cancer, presenting with uh, vague symptoms, uh, fatigue, uh, anorexia, some weight loss, and mild abdominal pain. Uh, eventually, the patient gets worked up to have an upper endoscopy and found to have a, a mass in the distal stomach, confirmed to be a stomach cancer. And ultimately, with staging of CT scans and, and other uh, blood tests determine that it's metastatic stage four to the liver. After um, typical staging and um, discussing the prognosis with the patient that it's an incurable cancer in the stage four setting, uh, the patient uh, received standard first-line chemotherapy. There are a number of different chemotherapy regimens uh, available, uh, all with uh, phase three data to support their use, uh, various two-drug and three-drug regimens. Uh, generally, though, um, recently, uh, Folfox chemotherapy has emerged as a, as a preferred standard therapy, which is what this patient received. Also, um, um, what we would expect, most patients derive some clinical benefit and palliation from this chemotherapy um, with a response rate of approximately 40% and another 40% of patients having at least disease control. So this patient at the first imaging time point at three months uh, demonstrated that there was a response uh, on imaging and was doing well with therapy. Unfortunately, and, and also as, per, as expected, um, by seven months into treatment, the patient demonstrated progression, and that is a typical median progression-free survival on most studies. So at that time point, the patient uh, was assessed and had a preserved performance status, and so appropriately was offered second-line therapy. Um, typically, uh, there is, uh, an, again, a number of options for chemotherapy in the second-line setting, um, arenotechin-based, taxane-based. Um, most recently, a large phase three study uh, called the RAINBOW study, which uh, was assessing paclitaxel with ramucirumab and compared to the control of paclitaxel alone, this uh, uh, demonstrated an improved uh, overall survival as well as a response rate. And so uh, this patient received um, paclitaxel with remucirumab. So uh, that's where the patient was in terms of when we left off with their case.